Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the BH virtual event space. We're very happy to welcome to the event space Francisca Rora. Francisca, welcome. How are you today? I am really good. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. We are really excited for you to be here. Today, we are talking about children's portrait light and purity on the paper. So really excited to present that for you. Uh, just a reminder to everybody out there joining us from Vimeo, Facebook, as well as Zoom. If you have any questions for Francisca, please feel free to get them in. If you're joining on Vimeo and Facebook, you can use the comment section. If you're joining us here on Zoom, you can use the Q&A tab. But without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Francisca, who's got a wonderful presentation for us. Beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. You, okay. Let's start. Okay, um, light and purity on paper. Uh, this is my presentations. I want to share with you my experience working with kids. Also, I will give you my visions and advice to improve your photography. At the end of the presentation, you will have time for questions. If you don't know my work, I invite you to see the next video with my photos. I, I need, I make a mistake, sorry. <laughs> I need, uh, okay, one, I need to share again, sorry. Um, sound, not, not a problem. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, now, yes, sorry. It's for the sound, okay. Okay, this is the video. Okay, uh, I am Francisca Roura, I'm from Chile. I have been working in photography for about 20 years and 11 years in children photography. I study advertising and photography. Um, also, I teach children portrait photography around the world. My work is mostly focused on portrait, adult, kids and family, but also I love street photography. Okay, the portrait, let's start. For me, the children portrait is an honest representation of the kids. This representation show the essence of the kid personality. For example, is she or he is a happy person or serious, coquette, cheerful, introvert, etc. As you can imagine, the aesthetic is very important to me. Then my work objective from the beginning to the end 
is to create a piece of art. How do I work? My style is, I use black and white as a visual language. I use natural light, no flash. I try to reflect the children's spontaneity. Also, I consider imperfection as a beauty. You can see in my pictures, the messy hairs and the clothes is not perfect, but these imperfections represent the perfection for me, the beauty. I serve for to simplicity and naturally, naturality in the portrait. If I can define it, my portrait, it will be a classic portrait. Or as I already say, the result is a piece of art. As an example, I will show you some pictures. As you can see, it's very simple. Only the kit, nothing else. I don't use more elements, no props. In this case, uh, the highlights and natural beauty of the eye. In this picture, I reflect the natural simple. The focus is on the person, in this case, the, the girl. Why the portrait is important for me? I think portraits are timeless. They capture a moment of light that will never return. Memories can alive again when you see a picture and it's a visual inheritance for following generations. The people also always ask me, why do I work with children? I like so much work with them. It's a challenge for me. They're spontaneous, they're transparent. I enjoy very, mu very much to work with them. Also, my client and student ask me, why do I work in black and white? I love the analog photography, but I want to take advantage of the new technology in order to get a similar result, but with the digital support. Black and white is a timeless and always trendy. Black and white has a bigger visual impact, so it evokes emotions. Now I will sh share some of my key advice with you. First of all, Forget everything and get involved. When you take pictures, you need to be present in the moment and do not have thing to about anything else, only the photo shoots. It's very, very important this point, okay? Second, be connected with the children. If you don't connect with the children, you will never achieve a good portrait. The trust is a must. Don't forget it. Identify the age, preference, and favorite activities. You have to be immersed in the world of the kids. You have to know about princess, superheroes, sport, and cartoons. Depending on, on the age of the kids, you can connect better. For example, if they are three years old, you can connect with games. When they are older, you can talk with them. They can follow interactions or do role playing. For example, in this picture, I told her to play like a model. She has received interactions. She acted like a model. And this age, uh, the game is the connections. She's a little girl. The photo shoot looks more a game for her. For her. This picture uh, was a kind of gift for me. Spontaneously, the little girl gave me this beautiful look and I was ready to capture it. Always, you have to be alert for the special moment they could give you. Other tips, um, get who they really are and don't force them to be someone else. In one of my workshops, Juanita in the picture, was my mother. 
My student in the photo should say, Juanita smile, smile Juanita, Juanita smile. And the result was a driving smile. It looked false because she's a serious little girl and not a smiling person. It's very important. Uh, we have to respect the personality of the kids. Okay, it's very, very, very important. We have to respect the personality of the kids. This picture reflects who she really is. She's a only child. She a, has a strong personality. She's a coquette little girl. I, uh, this picture, I love it. Um, while she was waiting for her sister photo shoot to be finished, I asked her, do you want to me to take your picture? And she stood and sat down and gave me this beautiful pictures. So cute, I love her. Other tips, forget about techniques and work from emotions. When you take picture, when you have a photo shoot, you have to manage all the technique needed for that. Because in this moment, you need to connect with the kids and forget about light, compositions, aperture, expo exposure. You have to work in autopilot mode, okay? Every session will be an adventure. When Kita read my studio, it's not my studio, it's a castle of princes or superheroes. They have a lot of fun in this place. Now uh, I will share with you some useful tips for your portrait. Play with the light and compositions. Use prop, but carefully, only a few elements. You can use humor. You can make movement to get more dynamics and appeal to emotions. I will show you some example. I play with the movement. I play with the compositions and emotions. I played with the movement and light. A bit of humor. And I use prop, I use her old dress. In relation to appeal and accessories, color scheme and pattern is very important for the visual compositions. Never overdress or disguise them. This is a key for me, okay? You can include important elements like accessories, toy, or hobbies. For example, a little dancer, I include her hobby, Juanita. <laughs> I include her old clothing. Okay, regarding the poses, Above poses and find a way to manage the body movement and action in a natural way. I can give the interaction, for example, um, look the bird at the window or show me how you jump up the park. Highlight physical features and the positions of the hand is important. Let's see some examples. In this picture, I highlight the eye. I highlight the hair. And in this case, it's important um, to have the finger open and the hand relaxed in order to get harmony in the pictures and also avoid stress and rigidity. Finally, I, I will share with you some tips to help the kid to feel more comfortable. 
first, gaining the trust is very important. Gaining the trust is very important. If the kid not, don't trust you, it's a difficult to achieve a good picture, okay? Uh, it's very important. Play music. It's good for relax, the photo shooting, and it's more, ma it's more fun with music, always. <laughs> be calm. You have to be calm in the sessions, no nervous, no, no stress, okay? Talk to them, have a conversation with the kids. Make eyes contact and squat to get at their eye level when you talk with them. It's important, okay? Give them positive reinforcement and compliment. Well done, you look so beautiful or, or handsome, so cute, the pictures are great. And finally, the break. Respecting children time is very important. <laughs> okay, um, this is my presentations. I hope you enjoy it. I invite you to follow me on social media to stay in touch. If you have any question, please let me know. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Francisco. So yeah, if you if you do have any questions for Francisco that you want to ask, uh, please make sure you get them in. Um, I do I do have some questions here for you, Francisca, that maybe you can kind of take us through a little bit and explain a little bit more. Um, I think something that you said that's really interesting is to respect the child. Um, and I think that's really important. You kind of talk about that a little bit. Uh, you know, you, you mentioned like their, their age level, maybe playing games with them, or, you know, if, if they're a little bit older, maybe talking about like their favorite superhero or anything like that. But prior to them coming into, you know, the studio or to actually having that shoot, um, what does that process look like in terms of getting to know them? Do you, do you kind of have a meeting beforehand with them, with their parents, or do you, you know, converse with them just via email? How do you really like gain that relationship? Okay. Uh, give me a uh, one moment because I can put the camera. Oh, I don't, <laughs> my mouse is not working. Sorry. Wait, I, I need to. Okay, I, yeah. There you go. Okay. There you, there you are. Um, there you are. See you again. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. Uh, no, uh, the question is in the moment. I talked with the, the mother before, but uh, the kid only I see in the, the day of the photo shoot. Gotcha. So, so it really comes organic, you know, just working mm -hmm. together with them at that time. Very, very, very interesting there. Um, I, I have a question um, from Fran here on Vimeo. When it comes to lighting, um, how, do you, how do you typically set up your lighting for the photos? Okay, I always use natural light uh, from the window, but um in special situations or con con or bad condition of the light i use um i don't know the name in, in english a, a, a white light but no flash okay but always use natural light from from the window and I, do you ever do you ever you know use like reflectors and things like that or it's pretty much yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I use uh, reflectors for manage the, the light. How oh, I work with natural light, uh, depending on the, the condition of the light. Uh, depending on, of, of this, I manage of the light. Sometimes I use uh, reflectors. Sometimes no. no. Uh, depends, okay? Right. Now... You mentioned something in the beginning that that the reason that you shoot a lot of black and white is because you learned on analog film 
And uh, so you try to, you know, recreate that and mimic that. Um, I'm, I'm interested in, in two parts of that. Number one is, you know, what do you use, you know, what, what camera are you using in order to, you know, shoot that um, because you'd get wonderful tones. Is it, is it mainly, you know, camera, are you doing a lot of post-processing um, or is that just strictly, you know, from, from camera and then exporting? Okay, what kind of camera is that one question? So yeah, like what, okay. so, you know, what, what equipment are you using, you know, camera wise, lens wise, and, and do you, do you do shoot in black and white and then convert and, and, you know, import into the, to the camera or do you shoot raw, you shoot color and then import it and then convert it over to black and white. What's your process look like there? Okay. Um, I use a Nikon camera d I don't, I don't know d a hundred fifty is the model maybe okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay yeah um the focal lens i use uh, 85 millimeters and uh take pictures sometimes i view in black and white but i did all my pictures but only uh, a little um when I did, I just, I don't know if it's correct. I just pass a black and white. Is it correct? No. Um, convert? I don't know. You convert. Yeah. I convert on black and white and use uh, edit maybe the line exposition or some shadow, but it's a little. It's important when you take the pictures, the, it's good in the exposure all in the pictures and then the edit is very fast for me <laughs> so, so, so for the most part you try to get everything in camera correct yeah yeah exposing yeah. for the light and the background and and then very very small edits you know just a little bit of uh contrast shadows things like that yes right excellent excellent i like it that's that's very like purist <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. um so so one thing you know you mentioned you know taking taking breaks with them you know what is what does that look like in terms of of setting up a, a shoot with the children you know is how how long does your shoot typically last with them or really dependent on the child their age um you know how receptive they are to you you know how do you figure out what is you know, obviously, uh, a two-year-old child is going to have way less patience than maybe a twelve-year-old child. Uh, <laughs> although, although in some instances, you might say me at thirty years old, I, I still have no patience. <laughs> yeah, um, respect children' time is is um, depends. Okay, uh, for for one one side. Oh. The um, okay, uh, okay, I need order. Um, for example, when I write my studio, the three uh, three sisters, I respect the children' time because, for uh, for example, the first kids she can't. Oh, okay, don't. Don't, don't want the session. Okay, the, uh, to begin in the, the photo shoot with other kids. And okay, it's no problem. Okay, do, do you understand me? Yeah. Sorry, I will try the answer in, in, in English. But when the kid is, is a little kid, uh, you don't have um, to do all the time the photo shooting. Sometimes for me, they are experienced in this maybe half an hour is uh, enough for for shooting gotcha so but sometimes one hour but no more no no okay. more so okay. you try to you try to keep it really short so that they don't feel like a lot of pressure and, and yeah. feel like they're you know kind of getting too too much time and too much pressure during the shoot yes Yes, depend of the age of the kids. Obviously, when the kid is is uh, a little, it's all the games, all the time. Okay, but sometimes when 
the kids is all older, uh, they receive interaction is more easy. It's right. more fun sometimes. Yeah, they're they're a little bit more patient. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So Daniel, Daniel, who's joining us here on Zoom, wanted to find out from you what made you want to be a photographer, which I think is 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 a great question. What what made you want to be a photographer? What made you you know want to want to capture you know children? Ah, uh, sorry, you can repeat the, the question. Sure. What what was the reason that you decided to become a photographer? Oh wow, um, a good question. <laughs> um, um, I don't know. I think uh, it's maybe from for the memories, kind of life <laughs> with the pictures, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, it's a good question. But... <laughs> It's a it's a philosophical question. That's yeah. it. You're gonna, now now you're gonna have to think about it at night and go, why did I become a photographer? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, but I think um, I always uh, forget everything. Um, I think the the pictures kind of live this 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 memory. I I remember when I was child. Or it's a it's a good. Mo um, it's a good moment uh, to to I don't know capture to capture to capture yeah uh, which I which I think is 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 very interesting that you talk about because if you think about it you know I mean I'm sure you remember I remember like you said analog film and you know having slides and seeing actual prints of images and I think that. You know, I look at I look at some younger kids. I look at my children in particular, and everything gets just uploaded onto the internet. And so, I think it's I think it's very interesting that you talk about the memories because I think a lot of people that's that's what is sort of your first your first memory, so to speak, of photography is you know that first image or that family photo that you took when you were a child. And I I feel like to some extent some of that gets lost now because people are are willing to not not print out photos or you know just upload them into a, a digital frame or something like that and so that that kind of that excitement of of sending your film into the store and and then waiting for it to come back is kind of gone <laughs> um Fran, Fran here on Fumio wanted to ask you in terms of uh, camera settings, you know, you mentioned you use a D850, you mentioned that you use an 85 millimeter lens. Um, what do your settings typically look like in terms of, you know, like aperture, uh, shutter speed, things like that, especially when the children are, are moving around, how do you, how do you uh, capture them? Yeah, I use um, um, three, 3.5, um, what is the name, Phil? Uh, file, no, file, oh, I forget the name. The, the aperture? The aperture, sorry, aperture. Oh. I shoot first always uh, fast. Fast shooting. Yeah. Shooters, shooters, shutter speed, yeah, shutter yeah, fast. <laughs> I need to freeze in the the image with the kids. Uh, it's necessary. <laughs> okay, now uh, we got a question here asking how how long have you been uh, photographing? How long? How long? Yes. So, sorry, I don't listen the the final. Sorry, how how long? How many years? Ah, uh, me, you know, twenty years. Okay. <laughs> Working in photography, yeah. Wow. Yeah, a little more, yeah. Okay, um, Ben. Ben wanted to know um, what type of music do you use in your sessions with with the children? Do you use music with the children? Yes. Yes. Um, depends. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I put uh, classic music. It's very good for for the kids. The kids relax, but sometimes relax so much. <laughs> uh, 
and other occasions of situations I use um, I I listen I I listen my 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 music I like it for me but depends but classic music is good for for the kids I love I love classic music a little Bach a little Mozart yeah it's good it's calming it's calming for the kids too yeah. The, the problem is sometimes the kids uh, relax so much with the music. <laughs> oh, they fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but never I use um, a music of cartoon or some, some, something like this, of Frozen, or because she, the kids uh, is... is I, I don't know. Uh, it's crazy with this music. But it gets them excited. Yeah, yes. Okay. So uh, so Richard Richard was asking. Richard was asking. Um, I know I know you mentioned um, in terms of the length of each session. It really depends on the child and and their age. Um, you know, the younger that they are, you try to keep the session a little bit shorter versus a little bit older. Um, but. Uh, Approximately per shoot, how how many shots do you take per shoot? Um, for kids, maybe um, one hundred, one one fifty hundred shoot for kids. Okay. Yes, okay. I use um. Oh, what is the name? Uh, the the continuous. shoot continuous uh, shooting because it's the same pose or same picture, but the the positions change. No, sometimes mm -hmm. uh, it's a little, but it's a big difference. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah the small, <laughs> the small, the small little movements change and so you want to you want to capture that that movement without having to you know miss that shot um do you do you is is are most of your shoots primarily studio based or do you ever shoot outdoors also yeah sometimes i take picture outside yeah a family is other type of 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 uh, photography right but but with uh, with children it's primarily an indoor shoot indoor in inside like in a in a studio yeah i take in in the studio so so let me let me rephrase it are are most of the photos taken indoors in studio or do you ever work outside where you, you do shoots outdoors as well no oh no in the studio of in this this kind of of pictures i take in the studio yeah gotcha. when i take picture outside is other uh, type of, of 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 picture gotcha okay um, now now david wanted to know uh do you recommend using like any kind of props or toys or things like that with the children a few elements only a few elements maybe uh, no um a chair a little chair it's only a few if very, you know, yeah, I don't minimal. use more element. Yeah, very minimalistic. Yeah, That's, only the kids is the principal, <laughs> the the main. Yeah, one. Well, Francisca, I wanna I wanna say thank you so much for being here and for sharing with us. Uh, I think there's a great information. I think I think for me personally, I think the the, the greatest thing you said um, that I took away was to respect the children. And I think that that's so important because I think especially as adults, uh, we have a we have a tendency to think that because we're older, we're wiser, and you know that the children should listen to us. But I think especially in you know when we're trying to capture their image and you know invoke these certain feelings, it's important that we respect them because it's their time and it's their space, and we're asking them to you know to to sort of help us out in a sense. So I I love that message. I think that's wonderful. 
Um, and I think you have beautiful images that really, you know, show that and portray that. So I want to say thank you very much for being here and for sharing with us. Um, any, any, any final thoughts that you want to leave for people out there who are watching this? Um, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for, for being here today. Uh, thank you, Scott, uh, all your team for your help on Bay 8 for the invitation. Thank our, you. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. And and just so you know, I got, we we got a comment last last second. Uh, Daniel said that uh, your work is great, and uh, they love that you use the same equipment. And uh, they said thank you for your time and valuable information. So, uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Daniel, for tuning in. We appreciate it. We're glad that you took something away from here. Uh, but that is all the time we have for now. This has been another edition of the B and H Virtual Event Space. We'll catch you next time.